All right. So tell me your name and tell me how old you are I'm and about your life. Steve Kafalis. I am 36 and I am a uh, entrepreneur. What was the straw that broke the camel's back that made you contact us? Uh, I think it was everything else was going good in my life, and that was the one thing I needed to work on, and that was weighing me down for years and years and years, and I always had the hesitation to see the dentist. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I saw the reviews on you guys, I figured I'd call you up, and when I, after I met with you and uh, Dr. Nishad, I was just sold, and I was like, let's get this done. Do you mind elaborating about your experience from like the first phone call in and coming in and your whole journey? No, my experience was awesome with you guys. You guys are actually my favorite business in the whole state of North Carolina. Oh. Legit, the, my favorite business. Um, I think I met with the doctor first. I met with uh, all the assistants here who were awesome and uh, they just made me feel you know, really comfortable about everything. And you explained the process to me, you explained the financials to me. Um, that was easy enough to take care of. You guys were pretty flexible on everything, and I was gung-ho from the first meeting with you guys. Awesome. And how has this changed your life? This has changed my life better than anything. I own, I own four or five businesses. I own houses. This is number one on top of everything. And you this felt is, like that got in the way before? Kind of got in the way um, a little bit? I don't know if it got in the way, but maybe mentally it got in the mm -hmm. way for me. So. Mm -hmm. Once I had that, that was the only kind of mental crutch that I had. So once that was over with, it was smooth sailing from there. And now you swim all day long, right? Now I swim all day long. <laughs> Perfect. What would you tell someone else that was in your predicament a few years ago that's thinking about doing it, but they're scared? Or I tell even, I have friends of mine who need work done, and I tell all of them. I'm like, you know, it's not that bad. Even my mom today is going to do, uh, getting a tooth pulled, and then she has to go back in the afternoon and do an implant. And she's telling me, I can't do what you did. And I said, well, you don't have to do it that extreme. But everybody I've spoken to, I've referred you guys to. And, you know, it, it's a mental thing for a lot of people with the dentist. Mm -hmm. So once you can tell them, hey, I've been through worse than anything you're going to go through. <laughs> you know, you're, you have a picnic compared to what the work I had done. And I still, to this day, it's been, I think, almost two years. Mm -hmm. I haven't had 30 seconds of pain from my surgery. Oh, I haven't had a minute of pain from anything you guys did to me. Awesome. Yeah. Not to mention it looks great. It looks good, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not complaining. I have, I have no complaints. Awesome. If I would have known about this, I would have done it five years ago. That's what we hear all yeah. the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you, Steve, so much. You're welcome.